Hi, welcome back to the workshop. So I'm at the point I'm installing the disc brakes. Uh, I did a couple of videos before explaining some of the setup. Um, so you can watch those if you need more reference, but I've had these on and off about 20 times. Come to find out there's some variations in these mounting surfaces. Um, Cause when I put the bracket on and then installed the brake, uh, the rotor, the rotor was actually hitting the bracket. Um, and then the other side, it was even worse. So the clearances were all off and you can't, because they sit on the front, you can't shim anything, right? You shim it, it comes out. We don't want to go out. We want to go back. So I took out the angle grinder and I just carefully ground down both sides and kept testing and fitting and testing and fitting until I got it right. Now I'm not blaming the, uh, performance online company. I don't think this is their fault, you know? they're at the mercy of this surface. They're at the mercy of the caliper maker. So there's a lot of variances that can take place um, between their kit, what they can control and then external factors. And there's a lot of external factors. So um, I'm going to show you how it goes on. It's real simple. Get your bracket trying to do this with one hand. I've done it enough times I can try to do it with my eyes closed. That goes on. I'm going to put the bolts on the back. Hold on. All right, the bracket's bolted down. Here's the bolt on there nice and tight. Now I'm going to pick up the rotor and slide that on over the bearing. Hold on. Okay, I put the rotor on. Uh, it's not on for real. I haven't greased it or anything yet, but I got the the washer and the nut on it's tightened down a little bit enough just to hold everything in place and it's it's good it's good um you can see the distance between the bracket and the brake are is very very tight um yeah there there it is i mean i guess it's it's got to be close because the the caliper's got to go on but man it was like hitting before and i'm I'm hoping like heat, you know, when it gets warmed up, it doesn't, it looks, it looks a lot closer on camera. It feels like it's a pretty good gap. Um, and I'll put the caliper on again, nothing special there. Um, you do have to take out the ones, the bolts, the calipers come with and use the ones that they provide in the kit. Cause it's a different thread and they're a little shallower. So hang on, let me put that in. All right. I got the rotor on. Um, always remember, put the bleeder facing up. Um, I only finger tightened them because it is going to have to come off again because the rotor hits the, the caliper, which is a bummer. I started grinding the other side. It's not a lot, but it does hit. And... I don't know if that's because the calipers are different than what the company originally made the brackets for. It's very close. It's so frustrating. But I took it to my bench grinder and really you just got to like, you take down a little bit and you kind of have to do it wide because, you know, the, the caliper um, floats as it wears out, you know. So you got to have it the full width of the potential area it can rub. The back is fine. Down here is fine. But up top, it was the same on the other side. So I don't know if Performance Online can move these holes up like, I don't know, a hundred thousandths. Like it's not, you don't need a lot. But anyway, the kit is really good in terms of like the quality. I mean, look at how thick this bracket is it's like huge it's super thick like i was gonna think about i was thinking about bending it to solve my clearance issues but there's like no way i can bend it without heat heating it and i don't want to do all that but it goes on super easy like it's basically like changing disc brakes but with the added step of removing the old drums and putting on a bracket um and of course you got to do your master cylinder upgrade. I'm going to leave the rear drums. So you need a proper proportioning valve, combination valve to accommodate that. Um, 
the uh, I am gonna I am gonna put in some new lines. These are all rusty and crusty, but um, I think it's the same threads as the hoses that come with the brakes. So not too much variation there, but. Yeah, it's it's good. I just I'm a little disappointed about the clearances. I'm gonna talk to their tech support and just see what they say. Um, but I think I got my problem solved. And again, I had to do it on both sides. You know, is these things you can expect when you're adding conversion kits to to old vehicles, and you know things vary. Um, so yeah, there it is. Not too hard. Hopefully they'll work great. Thanks, everyone. Bye.